Good morning, Internet. How are you guys going today? It's another beautiful day today. I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, today I'll be starting my colonoscopy fasting. So um, if it's your first time watching this video, kindly watch my other video that I was talking about colonoscopy. Excuse me, I've just up and um, yeah, I've just woken up. I feel so sleepy as well. I woke, I slept very late yesterday. So I've got um, a list of things to do here, or you would have a list of things to do here. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Um, you can pause the video and have a look at it. So right now it's almost eight in the morning, and I need to start. Um, I'll have my, my I'll have. Uh, there's a few. Of, uh, there's a list of, th of things that I've been given on this list that I need to do, which is really like handy and um, yeah. You might have the same list of things to do if you planning to go through a colonoscopy. This video is just to to show or uh, to show anyone who is interested or who wants to um, know the procedure of, of colonoscopy out there. So I hope it can help with this video, and I'll be taking you through how um, my next 24 hours is gonna be. And I know it's gonna be like a long time, but I'll just try to make it short as possible and. Um, so that I don't waste your time as well. So around eight in the morning, I'll have my low residue breakfast, which I've, I haven't, I haven't bought anything. I'll, I'll think I'll just have my coffee and um, uh, I think I'll just drink a lot of uh, water like that. So um, there's some, there's a list of things that I need to have. I don't know if you can see over there. If you want, you can post the video and have a look at it. So there's. Um, strength fruit juice without pulp water clear broth or bro borax coffee or tea without milk um cordial soft plain jelly sports drink and um clear ice blocks but it's not really the time for ice blocks for now honestly it's still not very hot or it's still cold but i mean at the end of the week tomorrow is gonna be warm but but then i'm going for my um, surgery tomorrow so i don't need to worry about the ice blocks anyway and um, I don't think my teeth are ready for any ice. So anyway, I'll, um, I'll be taking you through this step by step. Right now it's eight minutes, seven minutes to eight. And um, I'll be starting this. And yesterday I bought my, uh, I bought my sachet, my pico crepe yesterday. That's the pico crepe if you don't know what it is, guys. That's the pico crepe. And, uh, this one it's actually sold behind the counter and what i mean when i say behind the counter you have to have a letter that's the letter from the hospital that you need to have this and they'll give it to you so the good thing when i went there i, I was suspecting that it is going to be uh, sold behind behind the counter and when i went there it was actually behind the counter and i bought it so i've never actually seen it before and i've never tried it before so I'll be starting it to use it for the first time today at exact 4 p.m. Yeah, at exactly 4 p.m. I'll have my first sachet of uh, pico crepe dissolved, and um, I'll drink it. And I will uh, need to be very close to the toilet. So yeah, it's just going to be an interesting thing. So I will not open it now. When we get there, I will open it, guys, and you can have a look. So I'm just thinking to take it easy. Just stay home, relax watch some movie do some editing and um just chill honestly yeah um i'll see you at 8 30. hey guys it's 8 30 in the morning right now and um my official fasting has officially started started and um i'll be um ticking the box from now so from from this time i can't have any further solid food or drinks milk products i cannot drink I can only drink approved clear fluids like this one that I'm having here now. So from now on till tomorrow, I will just be eating or drinking um, very clear, solid stuff. So um, I'm thinking of giving a giving it a crack and just not having any any of those stuff. Um, as you can see, as I told you before, actually there's not much that I can actually eat apart from just drinking. So the time has actually officially started and we are officially starting to fast for the next 24 hours 
um, I hope you guys are gonna be with me on this journey and then uh, and to see how we go I'll actually I'm looking forward to seeing how my body reacts to this fasting because yeah I'm thinking of going to the the gym as well just to do um, very minimal workout because uh, I enjoy the gym and um, I just like I think it's gonna be a very long journey for me <laughs> fasting for 24 hours which I've never done before I've fasted for eight hours but not 24 hours 24 hours it's uh it's pretty long for me but for this surgery i have to do it so um yeah i just came out of the house because there was no enough the light inside inside there was too much so anyway um this this is uh, the journey that has just started and i hope you guys are gonna be supporting uh, my journey of fasting for 24 hours as i take call i take my um my boxes over here so i'll uh, see you at 4 p.m today when i take my first sachet of pico crepe i hope it goes on well stay tuned welcome guys back it's four o'clock right now exactly and um we are still doing pretty well we're still keeping up and continuing with our fasting and uh, this guy over here has been my best friend since this morning and it's the second one that i'm having now it's, uh, it has less sugar which is pretty good but yeah and this guy over here has been supporting as well um, so it's um, I'm feeling I still feel alright I've just been resting I just went out and um, did some uh, uh, some shopping for just what I need to have in terms of juice and that's all I bought honestly and right now it's four o'clock and we are still ticking up the box the boxes um so it's 4 p.m on the day before which is now uh i'll have to take my first sachet of pico crepe that word is pretty hard for me to say but yeah it's pico crepe i, I believe and um yeah and drop it in a in a glass of warm water which i'll make it very soon right now and uh, i'll put it in the fridge to cool down for a bit and then i'll have it i'll continue with the having my fluids which is apple juice another thing is i've just uh, got a call from the hospital and they've actually like booked me in for my first colonoscopy colonoscopy ever which is gonna be tomorrow um i think at this time i'll be home resting tomorrow <laughs> hopefully and i hope it goes well which i think it will go well um so i'm just taking you guys through um the journey of 24 hours fasting no food no you know the, the things that we love most or the things that we really enjoy most um but i'm feeling okay uh, i feel like i've rested enough of a good sleep um on and off i haven't gone to the gym today i don't think i will i was thinking to go but i'm just thinking maybe it's not a good idea because i'm gonna be taking the pico crepe right now and after that i need to be very close to the toilet which is not far from where i'm, I'm, I'm sitting now it's just over there and uh I'll be, it's gonna be a little bit of a busy situation from now. So, I'll uh, bring the Pico crepe for you guys. This is the Pico crepe, if you don't know how it looks like, this is it. This is the box. Dep depending on where you're watching from, it could be something different, but this is what I got yesterday from the um, chemist. And it's exactly three sachets. Alright, it's exactly three sachets, which I think I need to smash them one at a time so yeah it's sodium picosulfate magnesium carbonate hydrate citric acid if you want to pause the video and have a look that's how it looks like okay and uh, of course keep out of children and um and it's a pharmacy to only medicine that has to be prescribed or you have to go with the letter from the hospital which i did and they give it to you I'll be doing that soon. I'll warm up my water and read the instructions behind uh, behind this and and see how we go. I will uh, keep you guys updated on that as I clean up my system for my colonoscopy, my first colonoscopy tomorrow, which I hope I will um, give you more information of how it goes or if you ever been to one of the or one of uh, if, if, you, if you have ever been to this sort of surgery let me know in the comments below how it went for you and how you feel and 
you know how it um it all occurred to be honest so let me know in the comments below so for now without messing my watch time, i'll boil the water and i will see you shortly i will see you shortly As the water is boiling, I'm already feeling something in my stomach already, like a gru gru sound. <laughs> um, because I've never had this uh, pico crepe before, um, and so I don't know how it's gonna react to my body. And um, it reminds me of the days when we we were having an issue with the stomach, with the stomach back home, and you have to run to the toilet every five minutes. It's not a very, very fun thing. So. Um, we'll see what happens. I will give you all the feedback from this Pico Crib orange stuff that I'm going to be having soon. So, yeah, I kind of already feel, and because I haven't eaten anything, you know, this morning, I just, I didn't eat anything this morning. The last time I ate was yesterday. So this morning when I woke up, I was like, look, I'm just going to give it a full dose. Um, of course. You, you you can't die just for fasting for 24 hours um and the only thing you need honestly is just water that's it and you can actually survive so i didn't want to have anything the, the, i could have had breakfast in the morning like egg uh, white bread or milk and coffee before 8 30 but i didn't want to have anything so yeah because this one you know i don't want to give them a hard time i don't want to Give them. I want them to do the job, and I want it to be easy as possible for these guys to do their job. Um, yeah, I don't want to go there and they will like, oh, it was difficult to find it or whatever. But I need them to find whatever it is that is bothering my health, and um, that would be really, really great. My water is hot now. I'll mix it with the cold water and see how we go. Let's do it. <coughs> so here we are. Hope you guys can see moi and hear moi. <laughs> smells really nice actually. It smells like something back home we used to call it super deep. Super deep it used to be like um like a juice uh, solution thingy. So, uh, um, uh, yeah, like a juice solution stuff that uh, it will come in a sachet like this and then you will put it in a, in a glass of you know in a, in, a, in a jug or something and then you can actually it will tell you like how many liters you can make of juice and um, people will drink it i remember in the in the late or early 2000 when we were little kids they will have those ones you know and it reminds me exactly of that so Exactly, yeah. And I think it's got a lot of gas, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells very inviting. So that's the um, first time I'm having this. And I've got two more to go. It's exactly sort of uh, gassy form of stuff. And uh, yeah, I need to have this and have another one. Wow. <laughs> it's actually very scary just by the look of the bubble in there. You can actually... <coughs> yes. Smells really nice. Let me have a sip and see. Okay. It's actually like orange. Just like orange. And uh, of course it is. Um, yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. It tastes like orange. Yep. Citric acid. 
it's uh it's not as bad as I thought. Get ready, Julie. Oh yeah. So I've got to take another one tonight. I think around 7 p.m. I love another side of uh, packer crepe. So I'm having this one now at four, and then I'm gonna have another one at uh, 7 p.m. And then I'm gonna finish up finish up with one more tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. The same way I did today, waking up. Anyway, I'll, you know, I always wake up early anyway, so I'll just wake up and um, have another one tomorrow at 8 a.m. to finish up the process. And then I should be at the hospital around 10, no, 11, yeah, to um, to to start the pro the, the the process. So at least the gas has settled down. Yeah, if you ask me, it just tastes like orange or orange juice with the Yeah, it's just yeah something that you buy, I think it's just like a good thing back there, like, you know, but I think there's a reason why it's been sold behind the counter. So, it's really good, it's really good, it doesn't taste bad. It's just that orangey, tasty thing or lemonish, tasty thing. If you're asking how it tastes like, so, Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, I'll finish up this one, and then uh, I'll have more juice or more juice, and then, of course, <laughs> get ready for running up the other side for the big business. All the tissues are set up. Everything is ready to go. But again, I yeah, yesterday I had a very tiny meal when I came from work, so. I don't think I'll have a lot of issues, but still, I have to take it and uh, make sure everything is out of the system by tomorrow. And we're done with the first one. I'll let you know how we go. Stay tuned. What's up, beautiful people? How are you guys going today? Again, it's me again here. It's actually now. It's 6 o'clock. 15 minutes past 6 o'clock. As you can see out there, how it looks like. Um, very nice and um, the, the, uh, the actually the sun is going down but um, and I'm actually very lucky because at this time of the day usually it's because it's winter still winter here sort of spring winter at this time it's usually, usually very dark but um, nothing has happened I haven't gone to the toilet yet so it's is really like I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be um, or maybe I didn't eat of course I didn't eat anything this morning but yeah, I haven't, I haven't had, I haven't had anything. Um, and by next session, which is gonna be taken around, consumed around 7 p.m. today. So I'm still enjoying my apple juice. Um, as I was told, I haven't gone to the toilet yet. Um, my stomach is still like sort of okay. Nothing changed. So I'm just, I'm just here. I don't know when it's gonna start to strike. Hopefully not after the second sachet, maybe I don't know. Um, which I'll be taking it in the next 45 minutes from now. So I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. I've just been waiting since four o'clock when I took it. I've just been in the house. I haven't had anything to go to the toilet. So uh, so maybe the next time I'll be recording, I'll be taking the next one, which is gonna be 7 p.m. here. Or in, in 45 minutes, so we're gonna be waiting and see how we go. But for now, we'll keep drinking. What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy again here. It's now seven o'clock, and we're still ticking up, ticking the boxes. Um, it's um, it's been like, it's been. Two hours I haven't gone to the toilet still and um, as we're taking the boxes we're gonna be going on such as such at number three number two I beg your pardon we're gonna be going having our such number two my water is boiling behind there my glass is ready to go and um, I'm still drinking I hope when I record this video because it's at night this time and I don't, I don't have a uh, a proper light for recording. I hope it's not going to be flickering. So I don't know why th that happens. But 
um, I'm feeling okay. I'm still feel, feeling all right. I did buy something today, the broth. They brought the soup, like a soup thing that I was told to buy. And um, I've been having it, chicken soup. That's all I've been having for the last 11 hours. Okay, because I started, uh, started fasting at um, 8 in the morning. More than that, technically, because last time I ate was yesterday anyway. So I've, I think I've, I haven't eaten anything for the last, let's say, 15 hours or 16 hours. So... And today I was um, I, I got a call just after I recorded after finishing recording my video, and I was told that instead of 11:30 it's gonna be 12:30. So all in all, it's gonna be almost 26 hours of fasting plus you know the other hours, which is gonna be let's say it's gonna be 35 hours of, of fasting. So I hope I'll um, I'll make it through. So I'll be opening another one. And then I see how I go. And uh, I have one more here, which I'll finish up tomorrow. So <laughs> I hope it does work. If it doesn't work, then I don't know what's gonna be working anyway, because this is gonna be my second one. Or if it has worked different for you, I don't know, it could be. But um, this is my actual second sachet of uh, Pico crepe, Pico crepe, Pico crepe, orange, orange that I'll be having for the night. And then I'll sit back, enjoy my TV, just relax, and um, I see how we go. So stay tuned as we enjoy the, this drink, and then um, I'll consume it in a while, not long, you know, not long ago from now. So I um, I bought this. It's called broth. <laughs> I've actually never bought something like this before, so it was my, actually my first time buying it. And um, I've seen them a lot in Coles or in one of the super, local supermarkets that we have here. It's just, it's just a, like it's just a soup, and um, yeah, they call it uh, broth. And um, it's, it was actually not bad. It was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, and that's the only thing that I'm allowed, I'm allowed to have. Um, I still need to go and get another one because I've got the whole night till morning, another like 12 hours. Uh, and I think it's been helping me actually this uh, broth, so the soup thingy. So if you if you'll be going through this process, maybe you can get this uh, broth or soup. I, for me, I just call it soup. Um, when I saw it on the list, I was like, what's this, what's broth? Um, English is not my first language, so but now I know what it is, and I hope you have you know if you didn't know. So uh, it's been pretty cool. It's not yeah. It, it actually tastes really nice, like soup. Because I usually don't buy I don't buy um, um, ready packed stuff. You know I prefer fresh stuff. You know and and they're here a lot. There's there's a lot of stuff like that here. So and which we can't avoid to be honest. I get beans sometimes from the um, things. And they're okay, they're good, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's not something that I'm used to. It's not something that, yeah, but even like something like this, I prefer cooking it, but yeah, I just decided to go and, you know, buy, buy it and try it. And it's actually not bad, it's good. So it's just chicken soup. Yeah, it's just chicken soup and uh, it was pretty good. I'm gonna get another one and have it. And um, yeah, so, my pico, pico crepe is here. That word is really hard for me. I don't know why. It's just because maybe I haven't <laughs> used it for a long time. But my pico crepe is here. I'm gonna be having another one. It's sort of like medicine, but at the same time, it feels like lemon. Um, but it's um, uh, it also it also has gas, so. It's really cool. It's really nice. Yeah, and believe me, if if this thing was being sold at the front counter, maybe anyone can just buy it, thinking, oh, it's because of the test. But then you'll find out a few minutes later how it how it goes. I'll be letting you know how I go with this Piker crepe because this is the second one. 
so I don't know how I'm going with it because I was thinking when I have it the first one at 4 which I had at 4 p.m. I thought maybe in the half an hour from then I'll start running to the toilet but nothing has happened so I don't know if it's me I don't know if it's I don't know but um, all I know is I have to drink it and so far it's uh, it's all right it's good yeah keep watching some TV and uh, don't go far something <laughs> I feel something after this I actually feel yeah there's something coming um, <laughs> it's crazy guys this is my journey um, ignore the curtain behind me uh, ignore all the craziness but this is a story of uh, my colonoscopy and anyone can go through this and um, I just hope to you know I just wish to share with you guys uh, Yeah, I think, I think this is it. Um, I doubt if I will uh, leave the house for now, but yeah, this, I think it's, it's time. I think it's like prepares you and then you have the second one. Cause these doctors are very smart. They know what they're doing. So I'll keep having it and uh, make sure I finish it and then drink some more and drink some more until I get better. So stay tuned guys. Stay tuned. I don't know if I'll record another one video today because of the light. It's going to be flickering when I'm doing a video. Probably I'll, the next one I'll do it in the morning. But for now, I'll just sit back, relax, enjoy. Um, have a nap and um, I'll see you guys in the morning when I wake up. If I wake up. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. It's working. Oh, oh my God. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my lord oh yes it's uh it's working ah oh, so i'm very 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 tired oh my god oh, yes i think this is the um the sixth time i've been to the toilet this thing is uh it's uh it's uh, it's working like magic guys um Sorry, I'm in the darkness because I zoom in, I always zoom in so that I can have a good view of my TV. And um, yeah, so I just like to watch my TV in sort of darkness. But um, so far it's, uh, it's, um, it's working and yes, I've been to the toilet at least four times. Especially after I took the one at seven. So I'll just be here, chill, relax. I'm just drinking my water. And um, yeah, I feel really tired, man. That's all I can do. I'm using my phone now because if I use my GoPro, the light is gonna be flickering everywhere. So um, I don't know how many times I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the toilet, but it feels like it's really, really pushing me to the edge. And um, yeah, I better just keep calm, enjoy my couch and my toilet again. It's not far from me. Good morning, internet. It's eight in the morning, and um, I slept well. I slept really well. <laughs> it's been more than. 25 hours of having nothing in my stomach the reason why I'm saying this in I'm saying nothing in my stomach I mean in terms of something to eat in terms of food and the reason why I'm saying this is because I started fasting the um, on Monday at night because I didn't like Monday midnight in the morning you know like Sunday morning okay so I, I didn't eat anything from Sunday morning but I'm um, Majestically feeling okay, 
but I'm I'm really really starving. I'm I'm hungry, but at the same time, I feel like I've you know my stomach is very clean now. Um, I'm gonna be taking the last sachet of bico crepe now. Um, so yesterday, the whole of yesterday, I've just been resting and um, haven't done anything, anything physical as I thought I would. Um, it's been pretty a nice um, uh, process or journey to be to, to, to come to this. So it's been really really wonderful. Yesterday I had to do my rat test um, for uh, COVID because I have to do that before I go to the hospital. And uh, the good thing it came negative, so I don't need to worry about um, anything else. Or you know I should be fine. So we are having a glass over here, which has been my friend. I've been drinking a lot. Yesterday after 7 o'clock, I, after, yeah, exactly after 7 o'clock, after having the second sachet, oh my God, it was, it has been running in and out of the toilet, in and out of the toilet, um, until around maybe 10, 10 ish. Um, yeah, and then I went another time, I think around 11. So I can tell you, uh, I've got nothing in my system now, but. Apart from this, so I'll be having the last sachet, which I think now we're done with this, um, and then it's gonna be 8 p.m. now, which it is now, and then I'll just have to have another glass of uh, juice or jewish and um, and then just chill around 11, where a very close friend of mine is gonna come and pick me up and take me to the hospital um for the for the process so i was hoping that i'll be done by around you know 12 30 but then when i called when they called me yesterday telling me that it's gonna be 12 30 instead of 11 30 as the letter says it means that i've um, they have extended me with another one hour of fasting which is okay i'm not complaining um yes doctors and we have to follow what they tell us to do so I'll have another one. I'm actually feeling very sort of like weak. Um, usually, when I woke up in the morning, it's um, I'm always very um, it's my morning time or the the best time for me in terms of being strong. And um, I enjoy like going to the gym in the morning. In the morning is where I can actually do a lot in the gym in the evening which means where well, sometimes I usually go in the evening to the gym but if I go in the morning I can actually do a lot of hours than in the evening because of the energy I think because of just the body rests well you know you know after you've slept you still have that energy but in the morning in the evening I really struggle if I go to the gym but more than that said I've been resting for the Last 20 something. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> For the last 20 something hours, um, just drinking fluids. Maybe that's why I'm feeling hungry. And um, guess what? <laughs> you won't believe this. I've actually lost one kilo. Um, I don't know if you watched some of my videos. I said I was 101 kilos. Right now I'm 99.9 kilos. 99 point something. I've lost one kilo. Usually because I've, I've eaten anything, it's gonna go to 100. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing if you lose weight sometimes. But I always prefer having to be a, to be a, a, like a 100. That's my prefer weight. Uh, weight. Um, yeah, my stomach is uh, still rumbling. I think because of the drink. Um, so this is like my breakfast. <laughs> yeah, this is my breakfast, guys. My best breakfast ever. This thing actually does a really good job. It actually like clears your system, like amazing. Yesterday I was going to the toilet. I was like, oh, <laughs> am I having a number one <laughs> both sides? If you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so it was just like, oh my god, uh, yeah, just, it does, it does, I don't know, yeah, I, I'm sure 
someone has tried before uh, you can tell me how it went for you but for me I feel like wow it's just cuts everything in the system you know um, like oh my god mm. no oh no this is not the best you know, imagine having a limey test the first thing in the morning that's exactly how I feel like I'm having the first lime or lemon in the morning instead of coffee or tea <laughs> it really feels very weird but this is the last one and uh, it's for the best anyway yeah so uh, it's been a it's been a, it's a it's been a very good journey I've been keeping myself busy watching TV and uh, doing stuff but um, you know it, sometimes you just get a little bit sometimes lonely and sad of the process you know like if you understand if you know what I mean it's just time sometimes was going very slow yesterday I was like oh my god what time is this around 2 p.m. yesterday or 3 p.m. I was actually very starving I was really really you know because I started thinking about food and I was like oh I should be eating this now I should have been making some rice I should have been making some you know whatever so but I just decided not to think about food and um, I was okay so I thought also I would wake up at night and go to the toilet many times I didn't um, but um, here we are such at number three and then after this I don't think I'll go back to bed because I've actually I slept a little bit late yesterday and um, because I had a, a, some some nap on and off on and off it was okay but i think i'll be i should be fine just to sit back relax watch watch some movies and then um, i'll see how we go so i will let you guys stay until i finish this big cup of uh, piker crab i got the word now and um we'll see how we go but uh i have to finish it for me to continue with my setup on that side of the toilet so stay tuned and thanks for watching guys I think we're ready to go. So I'm done um, with the procedure. As you can see, it was really easy. I still feel a little bit dizzy at the moment, but um, yeah, it was it was good. It was good. So I'm just I'm just starving. And then um, I've been offered something to eat over here. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm just still feeling very dizzy. I didn't know when it was happening. So, I'll just wait for someone to come and pick me up. But they have to monitor me for some time. But um, it's nothing to be afraid of. It was really good. Um, I didn't notice when I was asleep. All I noticed the first, they were just having a chat with the, the guys doing the job. Um, yeah, but um, I'm good. I just need to eat. I'm starving and I've got something here to eat. So, yeah. Hello, beautiful people. I'm back home in my house. I've just gone through my um, colonoscopy. I'll uh, be very, very brief with you guys and tell you how the procedure was. It was a very nice and easy procedure. Um, 
I I was actually like I just slept. <laughs> I just slept the whole procedure. I don't feel any any pain. I don't feel any anything unusual. I'm just I feel okay. I'm happy. I'm I'm okay. I'm just feeling like a, sort of some gas in my stomach, but that's it. And I it's actually eaten something as well. Um, the only thing that I can't do, I can't cook and um, I can't do much of that. Someone dropped me. Another one is coming to say hi to me, visit me today as well. Um, uh, it's been a, a, a great procedure, to be honest. Um, I stayed there for like an hour plus just to be monetized, just for them to monitor me. And um, uh, yeah, so that's uh, how colonoscopy was. Unfortunately, I can't. I wasn't. I couldn't. I can't record in the hospital. Apart from the small video tips that I've just shown you, um, I just respect other people, and some people don't like to be filmed or whatever. So, um, it was it was it was actually pretty good. Um, now I'm back on. I can actually now eat my food. <laughs> I was really starving, so no more apple juice. Apple juice is uh, no more for me. I can actually drink it. Maybe just you know if I want to, but. I've written something already at the hospital and I um, I feel actually much better. So uh, they gave me the results and they were saying there's nothing major, uh, but I still have to see my GP in three weeks for just to find out what's happening and you know if there's anything that I need to know, if there's anything that I need to do. So I'll be visiting my GP in um, three weeks from now. So. It's been a great, great, great um, surgery, and uh, I'll pro probably ask anyone, don't have any doubts, go for it if you want to, um, you'll be fine, everything's going to be okay, go for it. Uh, it's, it's one of the easiest surgeries that I've, I've had. I had a gastro before, but this was very easy as well, very easy and very straightforward. Um, the only pain that I had was having that pain there, having that needle over there, uh, maybe it's for anesthesia, I'm not sure, but it was just a very easy um, surgery. And I actually I actually thank the, the surgeons who did the job and I told them thank you very much for bringing me back to life. It's actually feeling like you're dead. You're actually dead, you can't, you didn't feel anything. And if that's how death is, then death is very nice. <laughs> You don't feel anything. I was actually gone in less than um, in less than two minutes or three minutes, I think, if I can remember. So the only thing that I can do now, I cannot drive until tomorrow afternoon. So uh, Boi is gonna stay out there, and my car is gonna stay out there, and I can't drive them until tomorrow. But um, we've ticked all we've ticked all the boxes, as you can see over here. All the boxes have been ticked, all done. And uh, that's colonoscopy for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.